Hey guys, Westy here. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're just going to um, do an upgrade to the 3GX. We're going to upgrade it to 3.1. So what we need to do is we need to go to Start Control Panel and go to your Programs and Features and then remove your current 3 uninstalled 3GX. Yep, we want to uninstall that. Okay, that's uninstalled. So that'll save any conflicts that you may have. I've got a file here that I um, downloaded and expanded. And you double click on the setup.exe. Accept the installation. Yes. Um, okay, we want to go next. And I set it up for everyone. Default location. You can choose to change it if you wish. Next. Next. Yes to the UAL or UAC user control and then close. Okay, so that's pretty much 3GX and it sets up a little desktop icon on your desktop. And um, what you need to do is now get your helicopter and connect it all up. So I've got a cable here, I'm just going to plug in my 3GX into here. Okay now we need to double click on the three version 3.1 software and then power up your transmitter at the same time well it doesn't have to be at the same time your uh, 3GX unit uh, should initialize okay so now what we want to do is click on language select English and then tick on remember language and you've got up here the current version that it's sensing in the gyro, which is 3.0. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to go across, because we're running software 3. V1, uh, V3.1, and we need to go firmware upgrade and go update. Click on update and click on uh, 3GX update. 3. Point, version 3.1 click on open and it's connecting and it's doing its update now detected the USB device on COM4 click update it's loading do not disconnect in or touch anything at this stage until it's finished down here it'll say update complete okay it's finished the upgrade and it's reinitialized okay so we want to go we want to close this um, I'll power down the unit turn your transmitter off 